This lesson will be on setting the display on TI-83 or 84 calculators so that it always shows scientific notation. All the pictures will be of a TI-84, but the keystrokes and the keyboard layout are identical on the two calculators. We'll do a few sample problems to learn about the display. For our first sample problem, we just want to multiply 1.40 times 10 to the fifth times 5. You can think of this wrapped in parentheses if you like, but we won't need to enter any parentheses. Our keystrokes for the calculation are 1.40 second, which we get by pushing that button over there, EE, which we get by pushing that button, 5. Now we are done entering the first number, and the calculator display will look like this. But the calculator doesn't know yet that we're done entering the number. We might be adding a second digit to that exponent. As soon as we enter an operation, however, the calculator will know that we're done entering the number, and it will be stored in the calculator. So the next keystroke is the times button. Now that first number is stored in the calculator, and the calculator is ready for the next number. Now we hit the digit 5. We're done entering numbers, so we can hit the Enter key. And the calculation will be done. The display shows the result of the calculation, which is 7 followed by a bunch of zeros. If you're in a science class where the teacher always wants numbers in scientific notation, you would have to carefully count those zeros to figure out the scientific notation for that number. But we can do that an easier way. We can make the calculator show all its results in scientific notation mode. Here's how. This just takes a few keystrokes, but once you learn to do it, you may find yourself changing back and forth from scientific notation to standard notation, depending on what you're doing. Once the calculator is in a particular mode, it will stay that way until you decide to change it back. On the calculator keypad, first push the mode button. The display will change to what we have here. You will probably have the word normal in the top line blinking. Click the right arrow key here once so that the letters SCI are blinking. Then hit the enter key. Now the display will look something like this with the word SCI or the letters SCI highlighted and blinking. We're not done yet though. Now we need to adjust how many digits show after the decimal point. Hit the down arrow key once. The display will still look about what it looks like here, but the word float will be blinking. Hit the right arrow key until the digit 2 to the right of float is highlighted and blinking, then hit enter. The display will look like what it does here with the two highlighted and blinking, but the float will not be highlighted as, as it is in this picture. I'm not sure just how I managed to get that float to still be showing, but the two should be highlighted and blinking. Now we need to get out of the mode settings screen. First push the second button, then push the mode button. What you're doing is quitting the mode selection screen. At first, your screen will appear unchanged. In fact, it is unchanged from what it was before we went into that mode selection. But if we do one more operation, you'll see what happens. If you hit the multiplication key, that's the X key, then a 1, then Enter, the Enter key that is, here's what your view changes to. You use the result of that previous calculation, which shows up here as ANS, and then you multiplied it by 1, which doesn't change its value, and your display is now in scientific notation. The calculator is now set up to show all numbers in scientific notation with two digits after the decimal point. 
To put that another way, the calculator displays all numbers with three significant figures. That's it for this lesson. Now you're ready to learn to do some more complex calculations. It's not terribly complex at first. We'll get to those eventually. But that will all be in future lessons.